वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन टुडे सेशन विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम वी हैव वेरी वी हैड लेफ्ट द प्रीवियस सेशन प्रीवियस सेशन वी लर्न अबाउट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स एक्सप्रेशन ऑपरेंट्स एंड वी लर्न अबाउट ऑल द एस्पेक्ट्स रिलेटेड टू डेटा फ्लोज डिजाइन स्टाइल ऑफ मॉडलिंग टूडे वील टेक अप सर्टन एग्जाम्पल्स सो हियर हैव सम प्री रिटर्न कोड आई हैव टेकन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फोर इस्ट वन मार्क्स module is a keyword all verilog program or code starts with this keyword Mo followed by mux 4 underscore 1 is an identifier you can write any any your, your best identifier just following the rules followed by inputs and outputs declaration port declaration i have six inputs here out of which four are mux inputs two are select lines and one output of single bit assign is a keyword used in all design all data flow design style of modeling y is equal to s1 bar s s0 bar i0 all the and ended operation or with s1 bar s0 i1 or with s1 s0 bar i2 or with s1 s0 i3 so here whenever we put a parenthesis to cover certain expression that thing will be having highest precedence for execution so first all the things that are covered under the parenthesis will be executed computed followed by or get and once the value is computed it will be assigned it to the y and all the verilog code ends with end module keyword so this is the basic example i have taken now coming to the specific one here you have been asked to write a verilog code for 2 is to 1 max using conditional operator you should compulsorily use conditional operator which is also called as ternary operator now so in the, it is a 2 is to 1 max i have two inputs and one more select line input and output is y now we need to use a conditional operator so conditional operator syntax we have already studied in the previous session so assign is a keyword y is the output equal to i need to check the condition here is a space of condition condition i'll be checking is yes if yes is equal to if s is true this should be executed or else this should this should be executed and followed by semicolon so when s is true so let me draw a 2 is to 1 max you have i not i1 as i input select line as yes this is why when s is equal to 0 i not should be selected when s is equal to 1 i1 should be selected so when s is equal to 1 when it is true true expression should be written here when s is equal to 1 i should write i1 here when s is equal to 0 that is false case when it is false i should write the false expression here so if you reverse writing i not and i1 it will not match with the diagram what you are representing so when s is equal to 0 y should be equal to i not if that has to be happened then you should write it in the said fashion written fashion here now in the same way let us try 4 is to 1 max using conditional operator of course we need to check two bit condition here hence we need we need we need to use nested conditional operator so nested conditional operator example we had earlier earlier uh, say it now we will apply it for 4 is to 1 max so let me draw 4 is to 1 max block diagram here i'll be having four inputs two select lines and one output so when s1 uh, and s2 s0 are 0 0 y should be allotted with i not when it is 0 1 i should y should be allotted with i 1 when it is when it is 1 0 y should be allotted with i 2 when it is 1 1 i should be allotted with i 3 so this we will follow while writing the code here now module max 4 is 4 underscore 1 input i is a 4 bit i not i1 i2 i3 i not i1 i2 i3 next two bits of select line s1 and s0 output single bit y so let me write here y so i need to start i should have started with assign 
assign y is equal to so let me choose yes one first if yes one is true if yes one is true I am considering this if s1 is true s1 is true what I should do I need to check s0 also when s1 is true I will take this place execution pointer will be taken to this place I need to again check one more bit that is s0 so I will check s0 this is called nesting I will check s0 if s0 is 1 if s0 is 1 true expression should be written here why should be allotted with i3 now when s1 is true when s1 is true 1 and s0 is also s0 is false s0 is false means 0 1 0 when it is 1 0 i should i should go for false expression of s0 this is i2 when s1 is 0 when s1 is 0 we need to directly go for the false statement which comes after colon so false statement should be written false statement should be written here followed by semicolon again i will be checking s not again i'll be checking s not so here yes not if it is true yes not if it is true this one zero one i one should be the true expression if not i not so this completes your nested conditional operator. You can expect such questions, specific question in your examination. So module here, I have one more example I have taken, 4-bit full adder you need to design. So using concatenation operator. So I need to use a concatenation operator. That's a, with that intention, I have taken this code. Assign, assign, concatenation operator is flower bracket separated by commas. So here I'll pick C out and sum. Sum is of four bits. C out is of single bit. So I'll assign it with the addition of inputs A plus B plus C in. So what happens here is four bit plus four bit addition plus one carry may result in five bit answer if there is a carry flow, overflow. That carry overflow bit to store it we need a space extra bit space that i am creating using c out by concatenating with sum most significant bit will be c out next comes the most significant bit of the sum so this is four bit full ladder we will go to the next uh, example so next example here is full ladder using carry look ahead carry look ahead adder concept you have uh, studied in your lower semesters. Let me just uh, take it here. So I'll just write it here. Some there is uh, some generate three components here, three parameters here. Generate, propagate, and carry. So generate expression is a g i is equal to a i ampersand b i. Propagate expression is ai xor with bi and carry expression is given by c out i plus one plus one plus one is equal to gi plus pi plus ci this is a carry out expression some expression is just given by pi xor with ci the whole design you have studied in your lower semester I directly took the expression as it is here generate propagate and carry for generation of carry out we'll be using generate and propagate the intentions of uh, designing or uh, carry look at adder is so any carry any carry expression will be generated instantly wherein in case of ripple carry adder there will be a delay associated so this is used in high performance or delay optimization circuits here it is a 4-bit one. So module FA underscore carry look ahead address identifier. Input is a 4 bits. A, B are 4 bits. This is a C in single bit. 4 bits sum and C out. 
I'm using wires P0, G0, P1, G1, P2, G2, P3, G3, C4, C3, C2, C1 for intermediates. We need we will get a lot of intermediates here in, in order to follow. I being general. So we need to go on applying for I. I specifies the number of bits. It starts from 0 to 3 if it is 4 bit. So I go on generating propagate expressions first. Assign P0 is equal to A0 XOR with B0. A not XOR with width. Whenever you define A and B with vectors, the format for writing the least significant bits of the vector is this. You should enclose the bit number or index within the square bracket. Comma. Comma, if you put comma, assign once if you write assign, it is sufficient. You can write a semicolon at the end. If you write, uh, if you want to end it with semicolon, write assign in every new line. P1, A1 XOR with B1. P2, A2, XOR with B2, P3, A3, XOR with B3. Propagate expression is done. Now we'll go for generate expression. Generate expression is A ended with B. G0, A0 ended with B0, like that continues here. Then comes to carry out expression. So carry out I plus 1, that is, I'll not start with C0. C0 is considered as C in itself, that's why I'll go for C1. I plus 0, C I plus 0 is I if you keep it as 0. 0 plus 1 is C1. C1 is equal to G0 odd with P0 ampersand, this, this should, should have been ampersand. So P0 ampersand C in, P0 ampersand C in. So C2 is G1, you just go on incrementing here, 1 to 2, 0 to 1, P0 to P1 and C in considered to be C0 till C1. So whatever C1 I am having here, so this whole of the expression, this whole of the expression is nothing but C1. And this whole of the expression is nothing but C2. And this expression is C3. You can just write all these things by referring the generalized form. Generalized form. Now it's time to write the last, uh, last part that is some expression. Some expression is, some expression is assign sum 0 is equal to P0 XOR with C in, sum 1 P1 XOR with C1 like that sum 3 p3 xor with c3 so this uh, is your carry look ahead adder and finally c4 is assigned to c out because c out is uh, referred as output of the full adder carry uh, carry look ahead full adder this is a code for carry look ahead full adder you can test it with using any of the uh, eda tools normally we use xilinx tool for this so this are uh, these are certain some examples that I just took it for explanation. Now here are some assignments for you. Just go through it. I'll give some hints. You can practice it. You can come up with answers. And if you have any queries, you can just uh, ask in the put your. You can comment on it. What is inertial delay? Draw the test bench waveform for the statement. Assign hash phi out is equal to i in one ampersand with i in two. Consider the same input test vectors as shown in the explanation session. So I'll just keep it, keep that uh, explanation session concept here. So here, consider the same input case. I in one zeros from from ten to twenty, it is zero, and after that it will change over. And then it will remain at logic one. Then it will come over here. Uh, pulse width of phi. Same here. Same diagram. I in one, I in two should be retained. Out for out, you need to write the output expression output test bench waveform by yourself that's a first question that's a first question now coming to the second question write a verilog code for odd and even parity detector so for the parity detection as i had already said that you need to use xor and xnor so use both and tell me what difference you get in the design next third one Write a verilog code for BCD error detector. BCD means binary coded decimal, which is starting from 0 till 9. So normally, to represent BCD, we need 4 bits. With 4 bits, I can represent 16 possibilities. So here, 10 are sufficient. 6 more are unused. So those 6 more, whenever it will be resulted, so your output should give it as error make error a bit as one so that's that for that you need to write a code and then the last one write a verilog code to multiply a given 8 bit number by 4 without using multiplication operator do you you are not supposed to use multiplication operator for example y is equal to 
let me take 8 bit number as a a star 4 this is what i want to compute but without using this without using this so while explanation i had uh, said it that you can use shift operator shift operator so try it out and if you have any queries you are free to comment on this thank you